Climbing the nose in a day for me was about trying. It was about trying to see how fast I could go, how hard I could go, how much I could really push into exhaustion because, you know, let's think about where I'm going in two weeks. That's a portion of a mountain. That's, you know, a little less, a little more than two thirds of Mount Asgard. Mount Asgard, we're talking 40 full pitches. Um, and so for, for me to understand that I could deal with that level of exertion for so long was pretty paramount. I am, I'm grateful and thrilled to be going to Baffin Island uh, with another woman named Michelle Kaditz, who's a young female alpine gun in the Rockies. Uh, we are grateful for the funding from the Alpine Club of Canada and all the support from Mountain Equipment Co-op. Uh, these are the people that made this a reality for us. Um, and so Michelle and I fly north in early July. We go by plane from Calgary to Ottawa, Ottawa to Iqaluit, and then from Iqaluit by a small plane to a town called Pang Nur Tung. And then from Pang we stop, we hang out in the local parks office, we have a polar bear briefing, a park briefing, and then we go by boat uh, up the Overlord Strait. We get out of the boat and it leaves us there and we're on our own and we're walking 40 to 60k to where the gear cache is, which I placed in March. Um, and then we're on our own for 26 days under the mountain, which is terrifying. The Scott route is 40 pitches of about 11 minus up Mount Asgard uh, and it it's going to be our acclimatization route. It's going to be our introduction to the area. Um, it's, a, it's an entirely free climb. It's at an accessible grade for us. It's the iconic peak of the area. We chose it because we thought it was something that given a weather window, we were really certain we could get done. Um, and after the Scott route, hopefully, we get a few more weather windows and we have a couple of options and ideas which might take us elsewhere. To be a female team going after a Baffin Island route, um, I, I don't know that there has been a female duo that has gone before. I don't know that there has been a team comprised only of women. Um, so I, I, don't think it's a, I don't think it's a small deal for me or for Michelle. Um, I think we both understand that this is maybe the biggest thing that either of us have ever done. Um, and that it's going to come with its own set of challenges and our, our lack of collective experience is all the more reason that we need to be really careful and really pedantic and plan as much as we can and cross our T's and dot our I's because if we, play, we have to play all of our cards right in order to be successful. Um, I think both of us expect an isolation which I don't think we've either felt before. Um, I think we expect a level of challenge within that route at 40, 40 pitches, um, which will again be something wholly new to both of us. You know, who, who has access to routes this big other than here in the valley? I, uh, when I hurt myself, I think a large portion of it was due in part to arrogance and in part to ignorance. I think I didn't really believe that it would happen to me. Um, and I look back at some of the things that I did and I look at them now and I think, oh my God, girl, that was stupid. Um, so essentially I, I played the cards. I played them and I played them repetitively and they came up one day. Uh, so I, I got a cheap lesson. I'm lucky to be here. I'm lucky to be walking, let alone doing what I'm doing. And I think it was a cheap way of reminding me that no one's immortal, no one's invincible. We're all here to learn from our bad choices and make better ones. And so there was never really a doubt in my mind that I was ever not going to come back to this. It was just a work in progress and a, as always a work in progress, it's always a work in progress. There's always another goal over there. For my mother's birthday last year, I sat around and I thought, what does my mother want? She's a, she's a woman in her mid-60s. You know, she doesn't want the things that I can afford to give her. Um, and so I printed off a photograph 
from a previous mixed climbing adventure. And on the back I wrote, good for one veto of an ill-advised vertical adventure. And I showed up to her dinner party, her and her friends. She took it out of its envelope and she said, I love this. I'm keeping it. Um, but she's been wholly supportive of the Baffin adventure. She has yet to try and use her veto card. Uh, and um, she, you know, she's, she's quite proud, I think.